Thursday the 31st of August 2023 and the time is 20 past 1 in the afternoon we're just leaving the A1 and heading for the A66 over to Keswick and um, we're going to be there till Monday so um, just watch this space and follow my journey and see what we get up to well about 15 miles from Penrith give or take and uh, that deep big caravans coming through there and um, he had an escort vehicle in front of him well that's still good it's uh, 19 degrees outside so um, happy days so far well we've arrived in Penrith there's Penrith Community Fire Station just coming round the roundabout Squashed off that truck, but uh, we we'll managed to squeeze by. Not the kick in the backside off the M6, just up the road here. We had a little bit of rain before, but I only have a little tiny, tiny bit drizzle, and then uh, stopped as quick as it started. So we're just coming up the M6, north and south. It's just underneath work in a minute. There's the M6 there. That's southbound. Right, we've arrived at our destination, where it burns from in Keswick. emailed off them and says just gone straight to your pitch we know where the pitch is because we're coming out a look a couple of months back last time we're in Keswick so this is the entrance reception is just there we are around here we're just after that van I think Pitch number 28, this is 30, 29, 28. So we've arrived and we've got ourselves all set up. There we are there. Not many people here. Scenery is unreal. Got the mountains just up there, right the way around. And another good thing about this pitch, I'm already thinking about booking up for next year, is Everything is here. You've got your water, just there. Your electric, just there. Your waste is the only thing. You've got to go now up beside them buildings to empty the waste, but that's neither here nor there. When you've got your water there, I mean, there's where water to feed the van. I've got a pipe. When this gets empty, pipe from there to there. Didn't even have to move it. Normally you've got to put a handle on and walk half a mile. The pitch is very flat. Absolutely flat. Absolutely perfect. So, uh, kind of grumble. We're just going to pop doing it at the Keswick now and uh, get a couple of bits and bobs. Welcome to the 1st of September 2023. The time is 20 to 4. Uh, 24. 20 to 12 
Um, got up this morning, you might have watched a couple of shorts I mentioned that was raining and that. Had a kind of rain through the night. But um, nice again the day, that's what counts, doesn't matter about through the night. We're just um, in Borrowdale Valley at the minute and heading to a place which has been highly recommended. Called uh, what's it called again? Surprise. Surprise View. So, and it, apparently it's got a reason why it's called Surprise View because of the view. So, we'll see when we get there. If I see anything else interesting, I'll video it. Well, here we are at Surprise View. And this my mate Steve says. You can see why it's a surprise view, because it's a hell of a surprise. It's a lovely view, absolutely stunning. That looks like a hotel or something doing that. Cars in. And the one of the launch drops is just down here. And there's the launch. Off to its next destination. If I scroll back, you'll see more of the view itself. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. The road up here mine's a bit uh, windy and very single track. So you need to be careful, and a lot of time you're in first gear now. And the car park itself is just over here. One pound for 30 minutes, two pound fifty if you want to stay for a few hours. But you didn't want to stay there for a few hours. 30 minutes is ample. And apparently, it's supposed to be a copy up there. So we're going to head up that way. And uh, see what's what. That is gorgeous, so absolute stunning view. Right, we're at Ashness Bridge. Um, which is before you get the surprise view. Um... So, surprise views up there. We went there first and obviously we came past this way. Um, and this is explaining about take, make sure you take your camera at the surprise view. And uh, and at the end of that road is parking, cafe, toilets, and something else, I can't make it out. Yeah, surprise view, certainly something to look at. So, um, Ashness Bridge is one pound for 30 minutes. It's only about two minute walk from here. And no overnight parking. We'll put a pound in and we're on our way. Right, this is Ashness Bridge. Um, looks very canny like. You know, when you're away for breaks and that, you, you like to see things. And This is Ashness Bridge, it's just like a little, uh, little hump in the road, really. But uh, don't water still over there. I just can't do in here so have a little look at Ashness Bridge. I like exploring things like this. And there we go. There's underneath it. Lovely. Years old. There's a little pathway doing that side now. You could virtually get off there, 
cut over there, it's not any big deal that. But never been here before so it's nice to see I've been. There's somebody's dog look. Excellent. And good thing about it is the weather's kept up nice. That's the main thing. Happy days. I'm going for a Cornish pass the other day in Keswick on the way home. Well, after a surprise view, we came along to see this. It's called Bowda Rock. Where it come from, I did read, you know, how it got here. Tell you what might seem scary, thinking you were standing under there, because if that, <laughs> If that came down, you'd be squashed like an ant. And I've got some stairs going up it. So, what do you think today is climb the stairs? It's uh, quite a way to get here. It's a quarter of a mile from the car park. And it's uphill. Virtually all the way. So, this is the top of Bowda Rock. And there's something about that as well, that building. So the obvious thing to do is climb up as far as you can go. People's got their names scribed in there. So there we go. That's the top. There's the stairs I just came up. Pretty steep. It's a solid piece of rock anyway. Whew, I'm out of breath. That's uh, coming up there as well, like of course. So, there you go. I'll uh, take a little clip of the stairs gone down not going down like we're just just pointing down well it's well worn here on the top it's very slippy there you are quite a steep staircase to get up here quite steep right so i'm down there's a picture from the other side that's where I was standing before when I was mentioned. I wouldn't like, like to stand underneath there. Thinking if that killed our. But when you come around here. And you have a look. It's not actually standing on a lot. Compared with the size of this. Compared with what it's standing on. It's quite there. Uh, Scary to say the least, and I'm actually wandering along underneath it. Makes you think, I tell you. Definitely makes you think. If this tippled our crawl, oh, mate. And this piece of stone here is the Bowdar Boulder rock things just there. And I uh, don't know what this is, it's got an out on it, but obviously means something. But uh, worth the effort to come and have a look. I mean, personally, I think it come from up there somewhere. Uh, it had to. And landed like that. You know, weird things. I mean, if any one of them come down, you'd be crushed like. So, yeah, if you're in Keswick, surprise view, well worth a look. Another mile or so up the road is this Bowder Rock, well worth a look. We'll head back now, quarter mile back the car park. Well, we had a good deal of day on the, on the 1st of September 2023. 
we've just uh, had a bite eating that and decided to come out with the with the dogs for a walk. We found this little pathway which has a obviously a bridge there, uh, the road the road up up here gone that way against the Keswick that way is towards Penrith so um, anyway there's a river running along here and there's a little bridge down here and uh, the river flows underneath the bridge Looks like to me it looks like a small version of the Tyne Bridge over the Tyne and between Gates and Newcastle. If you look at the way it's designed, Tyne Bridge is just like that. You can, the part of the Tyne Bridge is obviously much, much bigger and you can actually walk up it. I believe it's getting painted right now, the Tyne Bridge. So, um, yeah, interesting. Kind of same, looks kind of same design. Part of them bits gone down the top, but uh, so there's the water down there. One of the dogs has stopped because it doesn't like gun or things like this. Just to uh, let everybody know, this this thing we're on, where this bridge is, where I said it looks like the time bridge came along here and it's actually part of the coast to coast so coast to coast Keswick coast to coast basically way 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 towards the northeast so uh, tomorrow we're going on um, oh, somebody's coming out to put the dog on the leader this is just off non still heading towards Keswick on this what used to be an old railway line it's just a bit like a don't walk at home without the river of course um, or Shotley Shotley River it's a bit like that there was a sign back there what says it was talking about how many passengers are carried half a million a year or whatever it was and it says did you know did you know that in 1860 I believe it was three shilling in old money was equivalent to nine pound fifty today bit hard to believe that like um, but yeah coming up with another bridge because obviously the river's turning and it's just like the last one and then a big tunnel I've seen this on the internet this is, uh, no, not this one. This is one that's very long. I thought this was going to be it. So, just came over that second bridge and uh, come to this arch. So, we'll have a mosey through it. See what's got an echo. Echo! Alright, got an echo. Woohoo! A lot of water dripping in from it, mine from the top. Quite a few people walking along here. And people on push bikes as well. Just like they don't walk at home. Right, Saturday the 2nd of September back in Keswick because we're going out on the launch while well, talking on a train day we just come across this funny old little contraption little pickup truck there it's a Ford as well looks like it's just been rebuilt that sort of thing right? in fact uh, brand new that I mean that's not original Maybe there's a few original parts like, but it's had a new chassis and everything built, you can tell. Lovely though, 
all the same till it's a uh, weekend in Keswick because it's chock a block with traffic at 10 o'clock in the morning unreal just referring to this old contraption in front there I mean it's that old that'll have knee tacks knee MOT it's got knee brake lights knee indicators it's got little gas lamps or something on the side it hasn't even got lights funny enough so there's a strange one a couple of reflectors on the back so them little what look like gas lamps or probably his lights so there you go and road legal So we got we caught the 10:30 launch on uh, on Derwent Water, and we're going the long way around. Apparently, there's a long way around and a short way around. We've took the long way around journey, and we're getting off um, I forget the name of the place, but we're getting off there. And, it's about, I think it's about three mile back to the beginning. So we're getting off there. It's stopped this, it's like a little taxi stops at individual places. So this is what it looks like. Got the dog next to us here. Kind of half on the floor, half on the seat. That there's the other launch, there's two of them. So that one headed off just a minute before we did. Nice and cool on the water, I mean, and the scenery is absolutely very nice. Next one is our stop. We came from all the way down there, which is, I don't know, a couple of miles. Went right the way around, it stopped twice so far, and then we are the next one. And yesterday, that's where we were, right up the top of there for the uh, the pleasant, pleasant surprise view. That's where we were, right up on the top of the hills, are we on down there? Well, we walked a couple of miles from where we got off the uh, the launch thing, and uh, we just came to this little spot. There's loads of people here everywhere with dogs, and we just came to this little spot. We sat there, had our sandwiches, and uh, then we well, still got a long way to go yet, like. As you can see the sun shining, we're going to go around there. And around there, and then the yeah, as well, we're going after that. So I filmed that up there. You can see people from, well, up there, all the way up, there's a line of people. I think they're in a queue for a supermarket. There's that many of them. I filmed a few of them before with a, with a zoom camera. I'll put that bit in probably after this. And uh, have a look see. Just came to uh, the Stone Circle. Not to see the Stone Circle because I seen it the other week. We we'll come here to see to get a homemade ice cream. And all them uh, sheep was going past. So um, we believe that where we're staying is actually down there. So we're going to go back that way and uh, see where we are from here. And the deer was excellent. We had a good time, good walk. And we're going to maybe come have a look at, at the stone circle again tomorrow. Right, we came to the stone circle. I did make a little short video of it. 
Um, it's now Sunday the 3rd of September. When you're thinking, uh, not going to be long before we're back into the winter. So the views we've got is kind of this. Do you a little bit of zoom? Doesn't zoom very well this camera, as you know, but I go around very slowly. Look at the views, man. Look at the views. It's unbelievable. Just surrounded by mountains everywhere. I had to wait because there was a bit of a breeze before. Um, I had to wait and just keep the keep the camera off for a while. So this is a stone circle. As you can see, the tracks lots of people. And uh, normally an ice cream van over there, but he's um, nowhere to be seen. Got one yesterday. On my way back to the campsite. So, uh, anyway, that's a stone circle. I may fly the drone over here later. I just did check and there's nothing, no restrictions. I would like to put the drone up there and just look down at the circle, basically. Right, we've come to Dodwood and we are walking. The yellow one today, it's the first time we've been here. So we just came all the way up there, quite out of breath. And we chose the yellow one, which is flat here, but the blue one actually comes up there. That's one hell of a climb. I think the next time we'll come, maybe he's tackle that one. So, plus it's so hot now. But no mind, there we go. We'll move on. Monday the 4th of September, and it's uh, half 11, 4th of September 2023. We've had a few days away, we're now heading back at half 11. You have to be off the site by 12 and then by the looks of things and make sure that you've gone, tidy up if you've left any mess, which we haven't, and cut the grass before the next one's come at 2 o'clock. So I've had a great time, it's been really relaxing. Weather's been fantastic, couldn't ask for better really. So that's the end of this one. If you sat here and watched this re to the end, thanks very much. And uh, if it's your first time seeing it, it'd be great if you could subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. It just means you enjoyed the video and you'd possibly like to see some more further down the line. So also, thumbs up would be good. Or don't up yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Anyway, we're just uh, leaving the Lake District and heading towards the M6 and A66 A1 in Hull. Bye for now. Thanks very much. Right, one A66, and uh, something happened. I don't know what happened, but. Uh, this post just come right down the outside lane and we'll let him in then another one did behind him which we didn't let in and then this police van just arrived we still haven't got a clue what's going on so there's a couple of police women there and a car standing in the middle of the road so I'm presuming all this probably 30 minute traffic jam was all because of that one car that broke down in the middle of the road. So that's the other one that tried to push his way in. And uh, anyway, we're still in the, in the traffic jam for some reason yet.